program assisting students with financial aid seems to be bringing more headaches than it does help right now. FAFSA applications in Minnesota are down with many people citing the trouble applying. But higher education leaders are promising a FAFSA fix and they are urging students now to apply. Uh, Rob Olson joining us live in St. Paul now with more details. And Rob, there's a lot of money out there that could really help a lot of families and it's not getting to them. Yeah, and that's the worry of education officials is that there's a lot of aid money that's just being left on the table because students and their families grew frustrated with the FAFSA application process, which simply wasn't working. They say it's working now, that there's still time to apply, and to that end, they've enlisted the aid of a couple of nonprofits to open up their services to everybody to help make this process easier and get it done. It's just my place, my perfect place. Is a sophomore at McAllister College and heavily dependent on aid to stay at the school she loves. Ana E. Sanchez knows the nightmare that FAFSA became. Well, I tried it in by the end of February because that's when it was ready to go but it wasn't ready to go. <laughs> when the revamped online application rolled out early this year after an overhaul to make it simpler, simply it didn't work. And a lot of students and their parents gave up trying. No, I couldn't get it completed. It wouldn't go through? No, there were some questions that I didn't know how to answer because they were weirded, very weird. Now we can confidently say you no longer need to wait. So it's working now? It is working now, yes, correct. Minnesota's down 16% in FAFSA applications from last year, and FAFSA is the requirement first step for a wide variety of college aid. It matters because every year 2.6 billion in financial aid is awarded to students attending college in Minnesota. But the program officials say is now working and the message for the frustrated is to please try again. If this roadblocks, if this process is becoming a challenge to you and and you are even doubting attending college, there's still time. The state has now given $15,000 grants to two programs, College Possible and Achieve Twin Cities, to make them available into the summer and available to help any and every high school student complete the process. Many schools have delayed decision deadlines so that students can still attend in the fall. Ana E finally got it to work back in March. It just took a little work of her own. Like, I don't regret going to the financial aid office at 8 a.m. at all. I don't regret that because eventually they helped me, so. Yeah, and so again, these uh, grants to uh, achieve Twin Cities and College Possible so that they can staff up into the summer at a time normally when they're winding down and again, make their services available to everybody, even if you're not in their program. Uh, they also urge you to contact your high school guidance counselor, your college financial aid office, and the State Department of Education if you need any help getting through the process. But they say there's still time, and yes, it's now functional. Live in St. Paul, Robles, Fox 9.